We have a survey of 900 lions who play sports, some play rugby, some hockey and some tennis. We have 45 that don't participate in any of the sports. And the first question, 11.1.1, determine how many learners want to play all three sports codes. So how many learners want to play all three sports codes? So learners who want to play all sport codes are indicated by this X, the intersection between rugby, hockey and tennis. But then how are we going to find the value of X? If we add all these numbers that we have here, uh, including X, they should give us the sample space, which is 900 learners. So we can simply do that math. We're going to have 160 plus 55 plus 200 plus X plus 60 plus 85 plus 255 plus 45 mini goes to 900. If you add all of that, you get 860 plus x mini goes to 900. So x is equals to 40. So 40 learners want to play all sports codes. They want to participate in all three. So we have 40 here instead of x. Let's look at the question that follows. 11.1.2 if a learner is randomly chosen what is the probability that he or she prefers to play hockey only so right the number of learners that prefer to play only hockey is 200 this 85 prefer to play hockey and tennis so we cannot include those uh, this 55 prefer to play hockey and rugby we cannot include those and then the 40 prefer to play all three sports so we cannot include that so the probability that a learner only prefers to play hockey is 200 divided by the total number of learners which is 900 this is just 2 divided by 9 2 in every 9 learners prefer to play only hockey all right let's move to the following question 11.1.3 determine the percentage of learners who are likely to play at least two of the three sports at least two so we need to include any number that falls between two or more circles so let's go ahead and do that math so 55 learners prefer to play rugby and hockey so we can include those because they prefer to play at least two and then 85 they play at least two tennis and hockey 40 they play at least two because they play all so all is at least two if all is three right and then 60 uh, they prefer to play uh, rugby and tennis so we can include those so the probability is just equals to 55 plus 60 plus 40 plus 85 everything divided by the total number of learners which is 900 if you put that in your calculator you should get 240 divided by 900 uh, this is years uh, 24 divided by 90 which we can also further simplify to 4 divided by 15 that is the answer to 11.3 let's move to the question uh, that follows we have 11.2 so in 11.2 consider the word spectrum the first question then says 11.2.1 uh, how many ways can the eight letters be arranged and then a in any order so right uh how many letters do we have we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight letters so if we arrange them in any order that is just eight factorial right and then b uh, this first question you should be able to do it with quite ease uh, when we are arranging things in any order uh, let's look at b uh, we are arranging the eight letters such that the first letter is a vowel such that the 
first letter is a vowel so we have one two three four five six seven eight spots to fill and then we need the first letter to be a vowel how many vowels do we have we have e and u so on the first spot we can have one out of the two vowels on the first spot we can have one out of the two vowels so we have to put two there because uh, we have two possible letters that can occupy that spot and then on the second spot uh, we don't have any order anymore right so we are left with seven letters left with six left with five so on and so on until we are left with one so as you can see this is just two multiplied by seven factorial 11.2.2 11.2.2 .2. calculate the probability that in a particular arrangement of the eight letters the letters t p and r will be next to each other in any order right they'll be next to each other in any order if t p and r are to be next to each other uh, then it's better if we take t p r as one thing we can bundle tpr because they always have to be next to each other right so if we do that now instead of eight positions that we need to fill we can think about the question as if we have six positions we need it to fill because we have bundled the t p and r and if we have six positions we need to fill then we're gonna have uh, the probability is gonna be equal to so we need to divide by the symbol space which is eight factorial the probability is gonna be equal to six factorial because if you have six things that you need to put in six slots then you can do that in six factorial ways now what you have to account for is that t p and r they can be in an order so it can be tpr trp so on and so on so there's three factorial ways of doing that so this is going to be our probability if you put that in your calculator you should get three divided by 28